It was stolen prior. She's been a victim. And this person is not alone. If you get in your car, turn it on, and something sounds off, you might have been a victim of catalytic converter theft. You can clearly see him with a sawzall in one hand and catalytic converter in the other. This happened to Michael Wilkes when on October 30th, someone came to his home and stole his catalytic converter. It's something that's been going on for a while, but it seems they're getting a lot more brazen and, and brave just coming right into neighborhoods and doing it. Wilkes says now he has to take extra time to drive around town to get it replaced affordably. It's, uh, it's very frustrating because that's money I have to take out of my pocket now with everything with you know, the way the economy is, it's more money I have to spend to fix my vehicle that there was nothing wrong with it in the first place. One way the Bakersfield Police Department is hoping to prevent future catalytic converter thefts is by etching the driver's license information on the catalytic converter, and that starts with spray painting it. That way it can be traced back to the owner of that vehicle, um, and they can choose to press charges should somebody uh, hop under their vehicle and chop off their catalytic converters. Rachel Rivera with BPD says the etching won't stop all thieves, but it can help. We know that this isn't going to necessarily stop all the catalytic converter theft. However, what it does is gives our district attorney an opportunity to actually prosecute the offenders. Carlos Sargosa, Pet Boys Area Director, says they've seen success with this method. If a thief gets underneath and sees that it's painted and it's edged, they're going to go to the next guy. They're going to just bring the car down and go to the next guy. They're not even going to bother. That's why Andrea Golding brought her son's car to get the converter etched and spray painted. Several of my neighbors have similar cars um, and they've had their catalytic converter stolen. And this is my son's car and it's parked in the driveway. So I just figured it would be a good thing to get it done. And hopefully we won't have any problems. And Wilk says while he would be interested in getting his converter etched in the future, he says it's a solution that shouldn't be necessary. We have to come up with these plans when it becomes a problem. And it shouldn't be this way. We should treat each other with respect and, you know, it's other somebody's other personal property. Just leave it alone. In downtown Bakersfield, Brianna Willis, 23ABC News, connecting you.